Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the My First Time tag. As misleading as this tag sounds, it's just where I got you guys to ask me questions about my first time doing slash experiencing different things, so I hope you enjoy it. The first question is, what was your first word? And I just asked my mum this, and apparently it was tractor. The first time you went on holiday. Again, I asked my mum this because I wasn't sure, but she said that when we lived in Kenya, we went on holiday to a place called Lake Kasubu, I think. First time I actually remember was when we went to Tunisia. I think I was about five or six. What was your first pet? My first pet was a goldfish, which I think at the time I named Rainbow. It literally lived for ages and only just died. Like last year, I think I got it when I was about five. It grew to about this big, which is quite big for a goldfish. When slash who was your first kiss? I'd say probably my first proper kiss was in year eight, just after a party had finished, which I went to just as a lovely Playboy bunny because that was in my Playboy bunny sort of chabby stage. It was with my boyfriend at the time. I had braces, it wasn't great. Good thing was that it was in the dark and it was at the back of this sort of sports club, so there was a huge field. It should have been romantic really, but it wasn't because my friend and her sister were waiting for me by the car and I took ages because I was so scared to kiss him. What was your first MAC lipstick? Now incidentally the first MAC lipstick I bought I didn't actually keep because it was the shade Cyber. I wanted a dark purple kind of lipstick but Cyber was just a bit too dark for me so I ended up getting Rebel instead. What was the first makeup product you ever purchased? I think this was in year seven. I went to John Lewis with my mum and got a tinted moisturiser from Elizabeth Arden, which is actually surprisingly quite a sophisticated makeup product for my first one. What is your first memory? First memory I can think of is being in this like cardboard boat that my dad made for me. He'd made like a wooden mast and like a sail. And I just remember in the flat that we were living in at that time, I think I was about two the carpet was like red and it had this hideous pattern on it and i just remember there being two double doors to my bedroom and i remember being in that boat and looking through to my bedroom who was your first friend i had to ask my mum this because i could have had friends before i was aware that they were my friends but apparently it was a little baby girl called charlotte in kenya who was your first best friend it was a little girl called siobhan in st andrews who actually lives in canada I don't know, I think. What was your first legal drink? I'm not too sure about my first legal drink because you can actually drink with a meal when you're 16, but on my 18th birthday, we went out for a roast dinner and I had a white wine spritzer with that. But in the morning, I think my mum has this habit of having Buck's Fizz on the morning of a birthday or Christmas or something, so I possibly had that as well. First YouTube video. My first video was one showing what I wore for my daily makeup. I look back at it now and I think, oh my god, it's so bad. It's still up there because it was my first YouTube video. A lot of people were requesting that I made a YouTube channel and I did that as my first video because a lot of people were asking me what makeup I wore. When did you eat your first ever Brussels sprout? I had to ask my mum this and she said Christmas 1995 and that they would have probably mashed it up into my bowl so I could eat it. So there you go, that's my first experience of a Brussels sprout. What colour did you first dye your hair and how old were you? I was 14 that Easter. I really hated my hair colour because it went like really dull, horrible, almost mousy brown but like a dark blonde colour and I went to the hairdressers and got blonde highlights but after that I started dyeing my hair blonde. First song you downloaded. I remember this clearly because I used to be obsessed with this song. It was Cassie, Me and You and still to this day I love that song and I love her. What was your first gadget? My first gadget was an iPod Nano. It was a silver one and I really loved it. I did want to buy a pink Nintendo Nintendo DS but I went for an iPod Nano instead because that was the time when everyone started having an iPod on the bus to school so I joined the hype. What was your first phone? I actually still have my first phone so I can show you it here. It was this little number. It's an LG and basically it's a flip phone 
and the keypads like that. I thought it was so cool though because it has this little camera which rotates which meant you could take front facing pictures and it also has a little screen on the back where the picture would show. I loved this phone at the time, it was really cool. When did your first tooth fall out? Well my teeth fell out really early so my first tooth fell out when I was four and I actually lost all my baby teeth by the time I was eight. First tattoo. My first tattoo was my foot tattoo which says hope in Hebrew if you want to see it then go watch my tattoo and piercings video what was your first piercing my ears when I was 11 I got them done in Claire's like most people do sat there in the window while everyone stares at you first childhood toy I've had a teddy ever since I was born and I still have him he is so old and worn and his name is Teddy but I've had him all my life. If you've had a teddy or another toy since you've been born, you'll know that it just has that like feeling that you're really used to and that you really like. And he has been patched up a lot of times and I was really unhappy when my mum did that because that gets rid of the feeling and I'd much rather him be all holy and old than be patched up with this horrible material. He's going on nearly 19 years now and he still stays on my bed. First job. My first job which lasted all of one day was a washing up job in a pub. Basically my best friend at the time worked there and I went to work with her after the first day I couldn't take it so I just didn't go back. First thing you do in the morning. In the morning I always wake up and check my phone, check Instagram on my texts and stuff. First hairstyle you tried. Obviously I tried hairstyles like bunches and ponytails and stuff but the first really funky hairstyle I tried was I made my mum do this hairstyle which I saw in the magazine Girl Talk and I remember it clearly. I got her to do it for a football match that I went to with my friend. It was a zigzag parting and then I had two buns which were made out of plaits and it was pretty cool. First time you self-harmed when I was 14. First time you drank Pepsi Max. Oh that's a hard one. Um, I think I first drank it in year 10 or 11. My friend's dad used to always have a fridge full of it. I would drink that when I went around. First major change in your life. First thing that made a major impact to who you are now. That's really hard to answer because obviously a lot of things went online last summer which I'd say made an impact to who I am now. Probably the first major thing was an incident with a phone counselling service called iTalk. Basically I was accused of domestic abuse. I was referred to this phone counselling service because I didn't want to go and see a counsellor face to face for my depression and anxiety in June 2012. So I had a conversation with this counselling service iTalk and I sort of said a bit about me and basically just poured my whole life out and my problems and stuff to them. One of the questions they asked me was how often do you get angry and irritable and I said to them pretty much almost every day and they said like what do you do when you are angry and I said I'd take it out on my family like some of my brother or my boyfriend like I might hit them if they annoy me just as in like a playful hit like oh shut up so like the only way is that's like but yeah next thing I know the police are knocking on my door and they're coming around saying I talk are concerned for my boyfriend and they had to sort of interview me they had to interview him of course I wasn't domestically abusing him like look at me and my ex-boyfriend is like six foot like muscly like I couldn't touch him that really really broke my trust in the whole counselling and mental health services because obviously it was the first conversation I had with them they took it completely out of context and if you are referred to them I would really recommend you not to talk to them and to actually talk to someone face to face because I'm really upset and there was a whole long ordeal with them they called up and basically just blamed it on the police and said it was the police's fault that the investigation happened. That was probably the first major incident that happened to make me into who I am today. First school memory. My first school memory was probably actually looking around schools in Scotland. I looked around all the schools and chose actually the school of the preschool that I went to. First concert. I think that was the Saturdays in like year seven. First time you got really drunk. Um, <laughs> so 
sorry family if you're watching this. It was probably in year nine that I got like seriously drunk when my friend had a party in her garden. Like literally I was drinking and it just all of a sudden hit me. That was a really good party. Where was your first house? It was in Eaglesfield in Cumbria. Who was your first crush? I think that was probably Zac Efron. What was your first dream? Obviously I can't remember my very first dream but I remember when I was younger I used to have this reoccurring nightmare and it was about a world war inside in this big sort of warehouse and I used to get so scared because in the dream I was like hiding from Nazis and stuff and I thought there was going to be another world war. Not a nice dream to remember. Who was your first boyfriend? My first boyfriend was when I was about two or three and it was a boy called Jakob who is Swedish and he's now gone back to live in Sweden but we were living in Scotland at the time and there's loads of cute pictures of us when we were younger together holding hands. It said I remember playing doctors and nurses with another boy who lived down the road so I cheated on my first boyfriend. Naughty Maddie. Who was your first love? My first love I'd say was probably my ex-boyfriend. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. If you have any suggestions for future videos or comments just put them down below. Bye!